undergoing 16 years of wars, with a death toll of more than 10 million, and endless crimes and social problems. The Democratic Republic of Congo has never aroused enough attention and support from around the world. Indeed, the Democratic Republic of Congo has abundant resources and minerals, and fisheries and agricultural industries possess great potentials. Yet under all political instabilities and power struggles, people are suffering serious poverty and afflictions. And he joined the student movement when he was in university, hoping to put an end to the autocratic government. Later, he was forced to flee from the Democratic Republic of Congo. With the assistance of the United Nations, he managed to move to Canada. Years later, Benny had a chance to return to his hometown. Seeing many people struggling in destitutions and orphans wandering on the streets, he decided to set up orphanages and establish an organization named African Children Chain of Hope. He opened two orphanages in Lubumbashi, the second largest city in the Democratic Republic of Congo. With his support, the orphans have clothes to wear and food to eat. They have a home to live in and school to go to. Benoit is one of the orphans who lived in the orphanages since he was a youth. Then he finished his post-secondary education and now has his own family. He is one of the fruits of the 10 years diligent work. However, in the past five years, Benny encountered some changes at work. He was not able to provide stable financial support to these children. The situation in the orphanages has become harsh. In January 2014, volunteers from Light and Love Home went to the Democratic Republic of Congo to visit them. After meeting them briefly, we found out that they were given only one meal a day, and they were always starving. The girls still insisted to go to school. For the boys, only two of them could go. More than 10 children squished in a tiny room without any furniture or beddings. They didn't have any blankets in the cool, rainy season either. The boys said that they had only one set of clothes. They had to wash it at night so that they could wear it again the next day. We learned that they have great and urgent needs. When we listened to them telling their stories, we realized that they were all orphans. Before coming to the orphanages, they wandered around the street markets. At night, they slept on the racks. They went from stall to stall to search for food. And some tried to do some odd jobs in exchange for food. They are just some of the many street kids. Light and Love Home will fully support these two orphanages and include this program as one of our services with the same objective and mission. African Children Chain of Hope will also become part of Light and Love Home and it will be the backbone of Light and Love Home in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We plan to purchase land and construct a building as the new residence for the orphans. We also hope to set up a school to help more school-aged children since the government does not provide free primary and secondary education. We also had discussions and interactions with local co-workers, hoping to understand their cultures, needs and the blueprint of the projects. They are grateful for our passion that we came from afar to visit them. <laughs> Children hunger for food and education. They also want to hope for the future. They see us as their boss and plead us to help. But God himself is the father of the fatherless. He touched our hearts to love and care for them. We hope that you can also lend a helping hand. Let us make a difference in their lives. <laughs>